my best friend. He's been there for me through the best and worst times. The best time being Toby's first birthday, and the worst was the day he had to go to the vets when he ate a marble. I don't have a photo of that though. I work at home from my computer, and I get all my shopping delivered to the house, so I don't get out much. You might think that's sad, but please don't feel sorry for me. I am happy. Toby's happy. Life is perfect. Toby. That night was the worst of my life. The marbles incident is now in second place. I miss you, Toby. Did I do something wrong? I'd never felt so alone. Falling asleep without Toby beside me felt wrong. Not feeling his fur brush my face and being denied the familiar smell of tuna on his breath meant it was a sleepless night for me. I love you. Night. No one's seen him. He won't be hard to see. His beautiful gingery fur would stand out a mile away against all this green. It's so unfair. Most people barely even glanced at photo. I would help. I know I would. If someone was in need, I know I'd be helpful. Toby! Hi. Who is she? What does she want? Oh no, she wants me money, doesn't she? I'm in a park. I'm alone. The nearest people at least two minutes walk away. She's going to rape me. That's what happens in parks, isn't it? I'm Daisy. Jacob. You've lost your cat, haven't you? Yes. How do you know? You've been following me? Yep. She's definitely a stalker. No, not a stalker or anything. Phew. Well, I saw your poster back there, and you've got one in your hand now, so I just put two and two together. Oh, OK, then. Sorry for thinking you're a serial killer. Sorry? Anyway, I saw a cat earlier. Did you? Toby! Uh, uh, Where is he? No, no, sorry, it wasn't him. This one was black, but it's a start. Hey, don't look sad. I'll help you look. My cat spotting skills have been really good today so far. Toby! I'm sorry we haven't found Toby yet. Don't worry. I'll never give up. I'd be lost without him. <laughs> it felt wrong to laugh and be happy when Toby was still missing. But Daisy just felt so real, so different. Maybe my life could be more interesting if I left the house more. Maybe I'd lost my way in life and losing Toby and finding Daisy would be the start of something wonderful. No. How can I say that? I wanted to punish myself for thinking such awful things of Toby. <laughs> Daisy's such a bitch for making me feel like this. Are you okay, Jacob? Uh, do you want to go to dinner with me? As if I just said that. <laughs> You've changed, Jacob. With my new look came a newfound confidence. I look good. Oh. I thought we're Toby's. I miss him so much. I get to see it again tomorrow. My new hair is so worth it. Oh, it looks lovely. Can I have a bit of salt? You sure? Oh, thank you. Tommy! It turned out that losing Toby that day was the best thing that ever happened to me. Though I'll never tell him that. Now I make dinner every night for me and Daisy. Toby still has only the best cat food, but he eats it at the floor, not at the table. Life is perfect.